That odd-looking blotch right there, yes, that one, turns out to be one of the earliest structures we've ever detected in the cosmos. At first glance, the whole image looks like someone splattered paint across the sky, little patches and smears everywhere. So why focus on that particular smudge? We first noticed it almost two years ago in some rough early data, and even then it stood out. What really caught our attention was its incredible brightness. Our instinctive reaction was, no way it's that far out, it's shining too much. But once we gathered sharper measurements and ran spectroscopy on it, the truth hit us. That yellowish blob is genuinely the most remote galaxy humanity has ever observed. And every model we trust seems to fall apart when we try to explain it. Across deep field images, scientists keep stumbling upon thousands of bizarre shapes, and half the time they aren't even sure what they're looking at. But leave once institutions any early galaxies we know. And when the Webb telescope peered even farther back, beyond the so-called cosmic dark ages, it revealed structures that left experts stunned. Most researchers accept that the universe formed around 13.8 billion years ago. But what we're seeing now threatens to upend that timeline entirely and may force cosmology into a major rewrite. With discoveries this disruptive, even Nobel Prize winning physicists are beginning to wonder whether the early universe looked nothing like we've imagined. A few have gone so far as to suggest that the universe might never have had a beginning at all. Maybe what we're calling the early universe isn't early. Maybe it's something else entirely, something we don't yet understand. Lambda CDM of cold dark matter and the dark energy that everybody considers a standard. According to that model, some of these these objects they're seeing from the early universe are too massive. They'd have too many stars in them. It doesn't have make time to make to become that massive. It, it, well, that all to be, of the right? all of the ordinary matter of the universe would have had to go into these things, and that just doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. You don't have enough ordinary matter to produce that many stars. So, what exactly did the Webb Telescope witness at the cosmic frontier, and why are researchers saying these observations could rewrite everything we thought we knew? Since Hubble's discovery in 1929 we've understood that galaxies drift apart because space itself stretches. But this expansion behaves in a way that defies intuition. There's no central point, no cosmic origin you can point to. So from any place in the universe, it appears as if everything else is retreating from you. And on top of that, the stretching of space is speeding up. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it rushes from us, accelerating into a mystery that keeps deepening. Now imagine, just for a moment, that Earth sits right here at this spot in the vastness. If you stare outward with the Webb telescope, it genuinely looks as though everything in every direction is drifting away from us. We've learned that the more distant a galaxy is, the faster it seems to recede. Push your gaze far enough, and you reach a strange boundary in the cosmos where galaxies appear to be fleeing at the speed of light. Astronomers call this invisible bubble the Hubble Sphere, and beyond its edge, galaxies race away even faster than light itself. You'd think that anything outrunning light should be forever hidden from us. Logically, we shouldn't see a single photon from those distant realms, Yet, astonishingly, we do. Because the Hubble sphere isn't fixed, it swells as space accelerates outward, its boundary slowly overtakes light that was originally escaping us, pulling more and more far-flung galaxies into visibility, even though they're still speeding away faster than light. But this dazzling reach has a limit. The region we can ever hope to see, the observable universe, stretches roughly 92 billion light-years across. At its outermost edge lies a faint, ancient glow, the cosmic microwave background, because peering that far is like rewinding time itself. Think about this. 
the most remote galaxy ever spotted by Webb, the one nicknamed Jade's GSZ-14, sits comfortably inside this observable bubble. The light we're catching now left that galaxy when the cosmos was only about 290 million years old, a baby compared to its current age. By this moment in history, that same galaxy has long since slipped past our cosmic horizon. Whatever it has become now, new stars, merged systems, or something entirely transformed, its modern light will never reach us. Beyond our observable universe, the cosmos continues without pause. More stars, more galaxies, more structure stretching outward, perhaps without limit. And the border we call observable is unique to us here on Earth. Any other civilization perched somewhere else in this endless expanse would see a completely different cosmic sphere. According to the standard cosmological picture, Roughly 14 billion years ago, everything we can observe, and the infinite expanse beyond, was compressed into what we call a singularity. But that description misleads us if the universe has always been infinite. An infinite universe never shrank into a finite point. Instead, the Big Bang happened everywhere at once. That means the first galaxies didn't gather in one special corner of space. They emerged everywhere, including in regions we'll never witness. It's as if matter appeared throughout the entire universe at roughly the same cosmic moment, not at a single spot, but across an endless landscape of space. The cosmic microwave background, the faint glow we detect from every corner of the sky, is essentially the earliest light released by matter, a whisper from the universe's first moments. Our established theories use this glow to map out the size of the cosmos and trace how everything began. But here's the twist. The Webb Telescope's newest findings are throwing those long-trusted ideas into turmoil. We once believed that by peering deep enough, Webb would reveal the universe's first stars and infant galaxies forming near the outermost reaches of our observable horizon. Instead, when it scanned that ancient region, it uncovered a host of unusually bright objects that don't behave like the early galaxies we expected. Scientists have poured effort into decoding these strange points of light, but the puzzle only grows more baffling. A recent study published in the Astrophysical Journal reported the detection of 87 possible galaxies that may have existed a mere 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. That timeline stunned researchers. Our current models insist the universe couldn't have created so many galaxies in such a short span. Hao Jing Yan, one of the study's authors, explained that even if only a handful of these candidates prove genuine, the entire framework for how early galaxies formed would need to be reworked. And then there's this remarkable image. An early galaxy with properties that defy everything we assumed about cosmic evolution. Galaxies are typically composed of swirling clouds of gas and dust orbiting their centers. Those materials act as the raw ingredients for star formation. In all modern observations, only about 10% of a galaxy's gas ever turns into stars. Yet, Webb has now identified three ancient galaxies that completely refuse to follow that rule. Spectroscopy reveals that each of them seems to have converted all of their surrounding material into stars essentially a 100% efficiency rate, something our models label impossible. These findings leave astronomers genuinely bewildered. How could such extreme, fully formed systems arise so early? Why do they look nothing like what our theories predicted? Some researchers are beginning to wonder if these objects aren't galaxies at all but some entirely different kind of structure we haven't yet defined. And if they are truly galaxies,
then our current Big Bang framework may be missing something fundamental, because it simply doesn't allow structures like these to form in just a few million years. At this point, no one can say for certain what these objects really are. The mystery remains wide open. That wraps up today's exploration. Thanks for joining in, and feel free to share your thoughts about what these extraordinary objects might turn out to be.